The current economic challenges that confront the country demands innovative ways of doing business across all spheres of the economy, and the role of development financing cannot be underestimated. To promote and finance MSMEs and sports, especially in agricultural value chains, development banks remain vital. Speaking at the DBGUGBS Development Finance Dialogue Series in Accra, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Development Bank Gan- Michael Mensaba assured of the bank's preparedness in building a financial ecosystem that inspires women and young entrepreneurs towards inclusive growth. We know that to create economic resilience and accelerate social mobility, we must champion the role of knowledge, innovation, and to be able to measure the impact of our interventions. At DBG, we often speak about the need to make an impact. So here are a few of our key interventions we will deploy to enable us to make an impact. DBG will increase the availability of long-term funding through debt financing, equity financing, and guarantee products to critical industry sectors that have a strong potential to transform our economy, namely the agribusiness, manufacturing, ICT, and value services. We have already invested up to 300 million cities since we were launched last year. We have also committed half a billion cities of long-term funding to be invested in the maize, soya bean, rice, and poultry value chain in the next 12 to 18 months. This intervention is to enhance food security in Ghana. In addition to providing funding, we'll be complementing our funding with providing customized capacity building to local businesses in the sector of interest. Meanwhile, an associate professor at the University of Ghana Business School, Professor Vera Fiado, is urging stakeholders to leverage on development financing to address the structural gaps in the financial market. Our markets are not really structured to provide us with the needed, uh, should I say, access to finance that you see in developed economies. Because there, the private, uh, the private sector market, in terms of capital markets, they work quite efficiently. So they always evolve and come up with products. In our case, we, we have a lot of catching up to do. So what is really happening then is that we are not there yet. And so development finance is more like trying to bridge the gap. Because, you know, normally there's private funding, then there's public funding. Development finance is trying to straddle the two, provide long-term capital, but at the same time not work from a purely private perspective in the sense that it's not chasing just uh, profitability in terms of return. Some of which don't necessarily yield profitability, but would be the would form the bedrock on which we can ride to then get to the point of profitability. So if we could harness development finance adequately, then we will get to the point where we'll be able to, you know, develop the various markets that will speak to both the separate public sector needs in terms of welfare, etc., and also speak to the private sector need for profitability.